For a long time, the mention of the space industry brought to mind one dominant name, SpaceX. They made rocket launching seem effortless, setting a high bar in the realm of space exploration. However, the industry is rapidly changing, and a new wave of competitors is emerging, and some are advancing so quickly that they are beginning to challenge SpaceX's position as the industry leader. Among these challengers, one company in particular is showing remarkable progress, posing a real threat to SpaceX's dominance. In this video, we'll dive into the details. But before, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the space industry and much more. When Musk first started SpaceX, his vision was to transform rocket launches into something as routine and frequent as airplane takeoffs. Initially, this idea was greeted with skepticism, with many believing Musk was overpromising and underestimating the complexities of space travel. Despite the doubts, Musk proved the naysayers wrong. While SpaceX has not yet achieved the daily launch frequency Musk originally envisioned, they have significantly broken records for annual launch numbers. In 2023 only, SpaceX achieved an impressive feat by launching a considerable number of rockets. Looking ahead, the company is aiming even higher for 2024, with plans to launch an astounding 144 rockets. SpaceX's success has significantly changed the way we think about rocket launches. Previously, this was a field dominated by big agencies like NASA, and it seemed almost impossible for private companies to make a mark. However, SpaceX has shown that private enterprises can not only participate in space exploration, but can also lead in this domain. This shift has inspired a new wave of individuals and entrepreneurs to start their own space companies. While this growth is beneficial for the advancement of space technology, it also brings intense competition, especially for SpaceX. The increase in competitors means SpaceX now faces more challenges in maintaining its lead. One of these emerging competitors is Firefly Aerospace. Despite its relatively recent emergence in the space industry, this company has quickly become a standout among new space startups. Their focus on deploying small nanosatellites into Earth's orbit aligns perfectly with the growing demand for such satellites. They've realized that not every space mission needs the huge rockets with many engines and high lifting power that have been typical in the industry. On December 22nd, Firefly achieved a notable milestone by launching its Alpha rocket, marking its third consecutive successful orbital launch. This mission transported a payload featuring Lockheed Martin's electronic steering antenna technology into low Earth orbit. This success is particularly noteworthy, given Firefly's challenges in the past, such as a rocket fire during their first launch attempt in 2021. Within just a year of a catastrophic setback, Firefly managed to propel their rocket into orbit. Firefly's pivotal moment came on October 1st, 2022, with the successful launch of the Alpha rocket on the test flight for the Space Force. Musk himself has emphasized the difficulty of reaching orbit, noting that it is exponentially more challenging than just reaching space. SpaceX and other major space companies often face challenges in filling their rockets to maximum payload capacity for each launch. This situation arises because gathering enough payloads to fully use the capacity of large rockets like SpaceX's Falcon 9 can be challenging. As a result, these rockets sometimes launch without reaching their maximum payload capacity, which could be seen as inefficient or a waste of potential capacity. This issue is particularly relevant given the increasing number of small satellites needing launch services. These small satellites don't require the full capacity of large rockets, leading to situations where there is unused space in these launches. This inefficiency is one of the factors contributing to the rise of smaller launch service providers, like Firefly Aerospace, who focus on launching smaller payloads more suited to the needs of these smaller satellites. When we look at the achievements of smaller space companies like Firefly, it's interesting to compare their progress with larger, more established companies like Blue Origin. Blue Origin started with a much larger budget, thanks to the financial backing of Jeff Bezos, but their achievements in the space industry haven't been as significant as expected, especially when compared to some of the newer entrants. Blue Origin has been slower in reaching important industry milestones, such as conducting orbital launches. 
they have faced several challenges in reaching key milestones. The most notable example is the highly anticipated New Glenn rocket. This rocket has been in development for several years and was expected to be a significant player in the heavy lift launch market. However, its debut has been repeatedly delayed, and as of now, it has not yet conducted any orbital launches. These delays have put Blue Origin at a disadvantage compared to other companies that have made more rapid progress. The only notable success for Blue Origin has been the development of their BE engines. For instance, the BE-4 engines recently played a crucial role in the successful launch of United Launch Alliances. This event marked the first ever use of the BE-4 engines, which powered the first stage booster of the Vulcan rocket. As the competition in the industry grows rapidly, companies need to offer something unique to stay competitive. For SpaceX, this unique offering is the Starship. Standing at about 120 meters tall when combined with its Super Heavy booster, it's one of the tallest rockets ever designed. The Super Heavy booster is powered by SpaceX's Raptor engines, a new class of high-efficiency engines. Designed to carry over 100 metric tons to orbit, it is poised to be the workhorse for not only satellite deployments, but also for significant infrastructure deployment in space such as space stations and lunar bases. This rocket has already undergone several high-altitude flight tests and two orbital test flights. Now, they are targeting February 2024 for the third integrated test flight of its Starship vehicle. The company had conducted static fire tests of both the Super Heavy booster and the Starship upper stage. This upcoming launch is a significant step as SpaceX works to demonstrate key technologies needed for future moon landings under NASA's Artemis program. One of the key aspects of this upcoming test is the demonstration of propellant transfer capabilities. This is crucial for the version of Starship that will be used for NASA's Human Landing System program. The concept involves creating a propellant depot in low Earth orbit, which will be filled by a series of Starship tanker launches. This depot will then fuel the lunar lander Starship for its journey to the Moon. This sounds perfect in theory, but is SpaceX currently capable of efficiently executing such a complex operation? SpaceX's Starship is designed for reusability and high payload capacity, crucial for creating a propellant depot in low Earth orbit. However, the company has yet to demonstrate the efficiency of in-space refueling. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.